it's Rhea. Wherever you are and whatever time it is, I hope you are enjoying yourself. Today, I have an exciting thing to share. It is an unboxing. Basically, this was my Christmas gift to myself um, for this previous year and um, it's something that I've been pretty excited for but I haven't had the chance to open it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Every time I sit down to paint my nails, I get scratches on them immediately right after. And at this point, I'm like, should I just like give up? I don't know, I did try though, so hopefully it doesn't look too bad. So after I took out the package um, from the, like the, the mail packaging, um, there was like this one little slip that it came with. And then, probably gonna have to zoom out for this. This is going to be what I will be unboxing, but maybe I need to go ahead and take it out of this box and see if that makes it more exciting. I'm trying to see like what's the actual box to be unboxed. Now I do have to be careful with this because um, there is glass in here, but I'm just gonna use my handy dandy scissors. Ooh. I like how I was like, ooh, yay, unboxing video. And like the first like 15 minutes was just me fighting for my life to <laughs> Uh, get it open. <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I'm careful with both the scissors, like, um, so I don't scratch anything, but also so I don't mess up my nails anymore. But at that point, I mean, okay, we got an opening. Ooh. Mm, okay, we're getting there. Sorry that I sound like I'm giving birth. I this is just a very intense process, I guess. And so today I will be officially now <laughs> unboxing. That's right, I got myself a canvas Creon display tablet. I'm sorry, I'm like trying to make this like visible. It's just, it's so large. You know, as big as my desk is, this still somehow cannot fit because it's just that big, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and cut it out of the film first at least. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, girl, her glow. Okay, honestly, like, work. This box in itself feels so, like, big and majestic and exciting. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll just go ahead and dive into it. I'm nervous. It's so pretty. I also kind of just can't believe I have this. Like, I do remember looking at it online and I was like, I shouldn't get that. And now it's here. Also, if I haven't said this by now, this is the Canvas Pro 16, um, 2.5K. Uh, it's down here, barely in frame. <laughs> Why does this make me feel so nervous? Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh, okay. That was, <laughs> that wasn't what I was expecting. <laughs> wow. I mean, I think, is this facing up or is this facing down? Okay, hold on, hold on. Sorry, my brain's like not working. Give me a second. Um, okay. See, I'm like a natural klutz, so anytime when I have to deal with something really important, I like die a little bit inside. I'm slipping it out. Don't be weird about that. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Wow. The anti-glare on this is so like, hello? You can't see anything. Like I'm in the void. You can't see me because I'm in the void. I just, it's just oblivion. That is it. Over here, it's a little bit shiny, but like, wow. Here is the actual tablet itself. Sorry that I can't fit into frame, really. I'm trying my best. I really am, but like, this this thing is like huge. <laughs> How about I bring up my iPad for comparison? My iPad fits right here. And this is, this is it. And then this is the display tablet, which I'm assuming I will turn on after I plug everything up. And I'm assuming these are like the express keys. I mean, we can get into each and every little thing in a little bit, but. Okay, so here is the tablet stand, I'm assuming. This is the Fion's tablet stand, and this is the one that I have for my, um, that I bought for my iPad a while back. So, I mean, dare I say they're almost the same size, it seems like, but I am interested to see how this one is as well, of course. Then we have 
this donut. Oh my gosh, I remember hearing about the donut. <gasps> the donut okay so here is the donut looks very donutty i don't know how else to explain that but i believe this is where the extra nibs are stored and um yeah let's see oh yeah what do you know so yes here are the extra nibs stored in le donut so I'm gonna just close that right back up. And then this, what is this? On oh, HDMI, wait, really? Is this what I, I'm assuming this is, oh wait, no, hold on, okay, so. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So this is actually the quick start guide. I was like, what do you mean HDMI? But, um, and then this I believe is like the little um, cloth cleanser thing, the thing that you use to like clean the screens and stuff. So yeah, my brain just kind of gave up um, at the end of the day. So I'm just like ready to throw my brain out the window. Okay, um, okay, let me see how I can um, set this up. Try not to just like wing the instructions, but other times I just work better hands on. So let me see. And then this of course I'm assuming is the actual pencil or a tablet pen that it comes with. Um. Yes, okay, so this is indeed the stylus. Ooh, nice and sleek, honestly. Feels like a majestic office pen. I don't know how else to explain that, but like, it feels light, actually, for like its build. It feels very like gentle. And of course, this is the very epic looking artist glove that you can slide on. I have yet to like consistently use one of these, but maybe I will um, do that now. The cords, the power cords. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is question mark. Scared. My brain isn't ready for all this. Connect to the power adapter. Okay. So these are to be connected to the power adapter. If that's what I'm hearing, that's what I'm understanding. Okay, cool. So we have these three little guys, and this is one cord, and it leads to the end of this, which I'm assuming goes attached to the tablet itself. There's the USB-C, there's the HDMI, and then there is the power. Cord. Girl, I didn't know she needed a power cord. I'm silly. Okay. Okay, so the good news is I finally got it um, situated and I guess I'll probably explain in like a voiceover what exactly went on, but um, it's plugged in. I destroyed half my desk in the process, but as you can see, this is the tablet and then this is my um, desktop. So we have it hooked up. It wasn't too difficult all in all. I feel like it's pretty straightforward. Um, it looks like it was saying there was two ways you could um, put the, like hook up the cables. You could either use this, um, it's kind of hard to see, but um, you can either use this like double, like two and three cable, um, or you could use the uh, USB-C. I think um, the, two USB-C's. I don't know if that would work for me because I have a desktop. So from here, I will probably go ahead and um, get into, I guess, a drawing or something maybe later on and talk a little bit more about how I feel about the tablet, but assembling and unboxing, I feel like we're good to go. So. Okay, so here is the tablet hooked up and in action. Um, we are going to do like a little mini illustration, kind of not really, but it's like a start to finish type of drawing. Um, but for now, this is just me testing it out and how the tablet feels um, in Clip Studio Paint, which I also haven't used in a hot minute. But yes, I'm just doing some test sketches of Jakodai from Hypnosis Mike. But yeah, hooking up the um, tablet is pretty simple, so it shouldn't really take forever to figure out. Basically, there are two ways that you can approach it. The first way is the 3 and 2 cable, which I ended up going with because it felt cleaner on like the wires. Um, it's a little bit more organized for me. But uh, also, so the second one is the USB-C to USB-C. 
um, so you're using the two USB-C wires. I did try that one out, but um, I'm not sure if it really worked with my desktop because it wouldn't display on the actual tablet for some reason. Um, but I likely did something wrong, so you can just ignore me with that. I'm pretty sure it works just fine. But yeah, those are the two options. And for installing the driver and all of that, it's pretty straightforward as well. It's just you download the driver that they have on their website and then uh, restart your computer and troubleshoot if you need to. Um, I personally did need to troubleshoot because some of my express keys weren't working in Clip Studio, but they would work in other programs. So, um, but I just needed to apparently like run the program as an administrator so yeah always feel free to like search up small problems like that um, online because someone else has likely experienced it and they probably um, answered it in a forum but yeah overall the um, assembly and putting everything together very straightforward simple nice easy as pie um as for the illustration that i am now getting to um i will probably talk about the process in a little bit but um this is a fan art uh you'll probably you might guess who it is uh before i say so but uh it's taken from a couple of screen caps um from a certain episode but it's really cute i think it's adorable um, but yeah, and sorry that my, I don't know if it matters to you guys that my Clip Studio paint, like, half the interface is, like, <laughs> blurry, like, you can't really see any of the brushes or anything in full focus. I also, um, it's funny that I am using, like, a larger tablet because I have a habit of, like, not necessarily zooming in too much on my drawings, uh, especially whenever I'm first drafting them out. I think it's just because I like the overall view of it first so I can see what the composition looks like. Um, I think if I got into using more, um, like doing more illustrations with like heavy detail, you'll probably see me zoom in in the future, but uh, for now, yeah, I do a lot of like, I don't know, it's a lot of back and forth. <laughs> but if you guys don't mind this kind of setup and it works for you on terms of like watching, then uh, I'm down. I'm always trying to figure out what's the best way to position like my iPad or now my uh, tablet for digital drawing because this is definitely bigger but um, I feel like as long as people see the screen um, more specifically like the actual drawing like the canvas it should be fine. Um, I just didn't know if it bothers people that I'm like drawing in the dark because I tend to draw in the dark a lot actually or like darker settings. Um, it just feels a lot easier for me but um, yeah, I can do both. Uh, just let me know. But I think so far I'm just trying to test things out. But to reiterate, um, I got this tablet because while I enjoy using my iPad, I wanted to try a display tablet that would be like a little bit bigger and serve as like a stationed tablet on my desk while my iPad is a little bit more portable. And um, don't get me wrong, I think this tablet could work portably as well, like you can take it to other places. It's just, um, it's obviously a lot bigger and um, there's more, there's like wires that you have to connect and, uh, but as long as there's an outlet nearby, I think you'll be fine because this tablet also works with a um, laptop and then also like any Android devices, I think. So it's pretty versatile uh, if you do really want to take it somewhere. So yeah, overall I was interested in getting this because it's bigger than my iPad and um, it can serve as like my base, my home base tablet. Um, and also because it lets me um, explore a little bit more with working in Clip Studio Paint because I tend to work uh, in Procreate more on my iPad. Now I have used some uh, Huion tablets in the past. So um, basically I went from my very first drawing tablet, which was the H640P and then um, a slightly larger size, which is the H610 Pro V2, I think. Forgot to look at these names. It's so wild. Okay, anyways. <laughs> and then, so I got the um, H610 Pro in, uh, I think at the start of 2020, because I remember I also did an unboxing video for that. But that same year, I got an iPad for the first time. And um, I was like, oh, wow, this is so cool. I get to draw an actual screen. And so that took over pretty much. And um, now here we are with the Huion Canvas 16. So it's been quite a journey. But yes, basically this is my first um, display tablet that I've had from Huion um, as opposed to my previous drawing tablets. So uh, I feel like I generally like Huion because they're affordable and still convenient at the same time. Um, so if I had this kind of option back then whenever I was like probably like eight years old or something <laughs> and I was trying to get my parents to like get me uh, one of the drawing tablets at the time, 
it would have been a lot easier trying to convince them if the prices were so convenient as opposed to like Wacom, which as we know is really good, but it's also really expensive. Uh, so yeah, I'm glad these kind of options are available now. And I'm sure nobody was wondering, but just in case, no, this is not sponsored. I have no affiliation with Huion uh, right now. I got this with my very own big girl money. And um, yeah, I think it was a pretty nice investment, at least so far, I feel like. Um, I really enjoyed it and it was something that I was genuinely looking forward to um, But that being said, I also might not highlight and discuss every single feature this tablet has because I'm just just trying it out I've actually only had this for I think about two to three weeks Well, only have been using it for about like two weeks because I've had it since I got it during the Black Friday sale So yeah, um, I'm sort of just trying to give my general impressions as someone trying it out I did, uh, I ended up finding this tablet because of um, Milky Way's video and I found it really like exciting and helpful so if you're interested in another perspective of this tablet I will put the card up for that video but as for my rundown of it, um, so this version is basically an upgrade from the original Canvas Pro 16, hence the 2.5K um, in parentheses. Uh, it basically offers a better resolution and like a more uh, vibrant, like wider range of colors, which is not really a necessity if it's your first tablet ever. So um, you don't have to go that out of your way and pay an extra 200 or more dollars for it. But if you're a professional, like someone working in a creative field, or you're like a really heavy um, user for digital art and tablets, then I feel like that would be pretty interesting for you to look into. You might enjoy it. You can customize the screen colors and the brightness, and that's pretty important to make sure the colors are matching um, other screens, so I'll go ahead and show that towards the end later. Um, and this tablet also uh, works, like while it works as a display tablet, it can also work as a regular drawing tablet, so I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so the screen is 15.8 inches, so just under 16. And as you can see, or as you saw whenever I was unboxing it, there is an anti-glare. Um, it's like etched glass something, I don't know, but it has like a nice matte look to it and it's really beautiful. And it doesn't show your reflection, which can be pretty cool if you're worried about that while filming. Um, this one does come with a stand. I think the original one, um, like just the regular Canvas Pro 16, doesn't come with it or it's like you can buy it separately. But this one comes with it, so that's pretty nice. And um, the pin itself uh, doesn't need a battery. It has felt tip nibs and like I said, it feels very like... It's a nice feeling in your hands. It's a nice grip. Um, it doesn't feel heavy or anything. It's like light, it glides, it feels really smooth. And as for parallax, which is like where um, basically it's like the distance between where your hand moves naturally and where the cursor shows up, I feel like it's hardly noticeable if there is any at all. It feels very like non-existent to me. The only time I really notice it is if I'm coloring very quickly, but um, now that I'm currently showing like more real-time footage, you can kind of see how it works. I'm not as zoomed in, so sorry about that, but yeah, I feel like the parallax is not really a problem at all, so that's great. And then there is the glove, which um, I'm not using. I probably should at some point. I don't know, I might try it out, but I keep saying I will and I don't because I just, I don't know if it's gonna like interrupt how it feels for me to draw. It might feel weird, but I think it could be something that I could get used to. Um, in general, I think it's there to like help um, your hands and also like not have your hands rub any like dirt or oil off onto the tablet. But either way, it's up to you. Uh, but it does come with this tablet, so that's cool. And for the express keys, there are eight of them. Um, you can customize them however you'd like. I personally only change like a couple, but I think that's pretty cool. You can also do the same with the uh, pin itself. So overall, I think that's like 10 different commands that you can use. And I think that's pretty nice for like streamlining your uh, drawing process because um, with a touch screen, like on my iPad, there's only so many shortcuts you can use with it. So I feel like it's almost faster to use the express keys. And like I said, it just feels a little bit more natural. So I do use the express keys a lot. It's just because my left hand is out of frame. You can't really see me using it. Uh, so sorry about that. But another contrast to the iPad, this tablet is not touchscreen. So um, I did also have moments where it's like, I try to use the touchscreen shortcuts and then my brain's like, what are you doing? So. <laughs> So yeah, it's not um, touchscreen and it is also not going to work on its own as a tablet. You would definitely have to plug it up to a computer or something. Um, it can't just run on its own. 
But I want to say my overall thoughts is it's so far so good. I mean, I know it hasn't been long, but I see no problems with it. So I definitely recommend it to other people um, as other people have. And like I said, it's nice that they are offering uh, cheaper prices for things like this because I know tablets that can for sure exceed over a thousand dollars and I got that for like half the price so but yeah I really appreciate using it and hopefully I can continue to use it consistently and learn Clip Studio Paint more while also still using my iPad and Procreate because I do want to use both um, and just sort of like I feel like it would really help the digital art experience um, just trying out different things I actually was even considering like doing a drawing in MS Paint because I just thought that's so like nostalgic and cute and uh, I don't know maybe I'll do a video on that in the future but uh, yeah so far thumbs up. Getting to um, the little drawing that I'm doing and Clip Studio Paint um, so one <laughs> yes I am drawing a mob from Mob Psycho and that little pink turtleneck he had on whenever he was on the phone um, I just think it's so freaking cute and adorable so I did a redraw and uh, yeah it's been a while since I've used Clip Studio Paint as I said because um, I mostly use Procreate on my iPad and um, I do have Clip Studio Paint on my iPad but I feel like it's just a little too crowded from the interface to use it comfortably hence bigger tablet and Clip Studio Paint but because it's been a while since I used it there was a lot of relearning on terms of like the interface and the icons but wasn't really too hard. One really important thing uh, that I will say when it comes to using Clip Studio Paint, um, if you have a new tablet or anything like that, if you really want to feel the pressure sensitivity, then do not forget to adjust it for Clip Studio Paint. Um, it is in the top left corner under File, then you go to Pin Pressure Settings, and then a graph pops up and it looks very intimidating, but literally all you have to do is do one stroke, like a little a doodle line, and without picking up your pin, um, you will sort of scribble like very light Handed, and then you'll scribble very heavy-handed as if you were, um, you know, coloring something in or sketching something. Um, but if you do that, after you pick up your pen, it'll like adjust the graph based off of whatever your pressure sensitivity curve is naturally. And that made a huge difference on how I experienced my brushes because before I was like, dang, these brushes kind of suck. Like they don't do anything. And it's because I didn't adjust my, uh, pressure sensitivity. So please make sure to do that if you're just now using Clip Studio Paint um, or you've got a new tablet or a new uh, stylus pen that has pressure sensitivity on it. However, right now there aren't really many brushes that I feel like I'm used to enough, so my drawing was very awkward <laughs> um, and I wasn't even really sure how to approach the drawing to begin with because normally I um, will do like two different things. I'll either do like the sketch to line art to flat colors and then rendering or I will just kind of uh, do the sketch and then place colors underneath it and then merge the layers and kind of digitally paint until I feel like I'm done with it. I kind of threw in the towel early with this one. I just kind of like let it be because it was more of just a warm-up illustration anyway, so it wasn't really me going ham and trying to test everything to the ends of the earth. So it's very crude and unrendered, and in fact, like a lot of the rendering that I did towards the end, I actually didn't get on camera because I was getting a little uncertain about how it was coming out because uh, my fan art uh, was really stylized compared to the original style, and I feel like it made it look very different but then I remembered like fan art doesn't necessarily mean you have to draw the character the exact same way with the exact same style um, and so I was like you know what that's true but then by the time I was like really feeling it and getting into it like oh okay this is better the drawing was over and I had already completed it with no footage so <laughs> here's the final drawing um, I'm showing it on screen now and uh, yeah I feel like it turned out like pretty cute and simple so I thought that was pretty nice and real quick here's me adjusting the display settings and all of that so you just hold down the power button and it comes up and you can adjust the display mode the color temperature the color space and the display setting also don't forget to use like your laptop screen or your phone um, multiple screen references that way you can get it um, at least close to each other so it's not a huge difference from what you draw and what you post somewhere it just helps a lot and then take a photo of your settings so you know next time if you customize it but uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I got. I hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and my initial impressions and uh, the drawing, but I will wrap up now. So 
Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed your time here today, please feel free to leave a like. If you're interested to see more of my content, you can always check out my other videos and subscribe. For reference, if you're new, I am Rhea or Etheria, and I like making art and art-related content on my channel. I do try to post weekly videos, so if you'd like more timely updates, you can always check out my other social media linked in the description or also at the end of the video. I think I utilize threads and Instagram the most right now, but anyways, once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I wish you a nice rest of your day and week. Take care.